So here's uh, short story time plus three useful expressions to describe uh, drunkenness. And yeah, here we go. Last Thursday, it was my cousin's beauty salon opening party. So she called me to come over and take some shots. So I was basically um, hired by her to make some nice shots and, you know, take some nice videos. And I did all of that. It was really nice. The atmosphere was great. It was, everything was like sparkling. The people were great. I met some nice people, which I'm really happy about. And as the night, as the main part of the night finished, we started talking and dancing. And I was like, because I rarely drink, right? I barely ever drink. I decided to take one Somersby, like, why not? So I took one, then I took another one, and another one, and another one. And finally, I ended up with a glass, a huge glass of white wine in my hand, uh, dancing, you know, um, at that point, I was a bit tipsy. So you're probably wondering what the word tipsy means. Maybe you saw this word, or maybe you've heard of this word in one of my shorts. And yeah, that's the word. To be tipsy means to be slightly drunk. So I got a bit tipsy. I guess that I got tipsy because I was chugging those down, those summer's bees. They don't contain a lot of alcohol, but as I was drinking them fast, I think that that caused the tipsiness that I experienced. Being tipsy is it can be a cool feeling. It can be slightly awkward. I think it depends on whether you're surrounded with good friends or, you know, with just acquaintances. I think that that closeness with people dictates whether it will be good or slightly awkward. So yeah. What do you think about that? Do you like feeling tipsy? So there's that when it comes to me, but when it comes to some other people from the party, uh, we have a whole nother gamut, a whole nother palette of words that we can use. I actually chose only three, like the three essential for today. And yeah, we, we can use this one, wasted. I guess that you've heard of this one before. When you're wasted, you're under the influence of alcohol. So it's a bit um, higher degree of uh, drunkenness, right? It's a bit more severe, but it can also refer to being influenced by drugs, right? Being drugged. So if you say that he or she is wasted, it means that they are either a bit drunk or drugged, a bit more. So it's more than tipsy, right? It's, it's more than being tipsy. I remember one night in particular when I got wasted, like really wasted. So I went out to um, the city center, there was like a New Year party, and it was me and my friends. We were drinking, and that was juice vodka, which by itself wouldn't be dramatic at all if I didn't take your typical flu slash cold pills prior to that because I was sick, and you know, because it was winter and everybody got sick. So I took that, and then I took juice vodka. You can imagine how that was. So I got completely wasted. I didn't know, I, I yeah, I knew where I was, but I didn't know what was going on. I was out of my mind. Later that night, I got home, and I think that there is no need to say that I was, my parents couldn't recognize me, right? They barely recognized me because I was just wasted, completely wasted. I'll never forget the face of my grandma. She was looking at me, as if I were some sort of like a homeless guy and she was like oh child you really took the wrong turn didn't you though so she was she was 100 percent sure that I'm I'm becoming a junkie it took me like three days to fully recover from that night so I had a hangover for the next three days which was pretty dramatic especially back in the day because I was super young I was like 17 and yeah, but like nothing can beat the the severeness of being hammered, which is like the third one, the third degree. If you're hammered, you're mo you're beyond wasted. You don't know your own name, right? You can't remember who your friends are or where you live. You don't know anything. Um, I think that this has never happened to me, or at least 
I don't know that it happened to me because I was hammered, but I guess that I actually wasn't hammered. I, I have never been hammered in my entire life. If you're hammered, you've probably taken some serious drugs or you took too, like way too much alcohol, like four liters of whiskey or something like, okay, you would die if you took like four liters of whiskey. Okay, maybe like three liters of wine. I think that that would make you hammered. When you're hammered, people tell you, stop doing that, you know, because you're doing stupid things. Stop doing that. You're gonna cringe your morning away um, when you remember all of this, but you actually, the truth is that you will not remember that the next morning because you're hammered. Why do we say hammered? Because it feels as if, it, as if somebody hits you with a hammer, right? As if somebody slammed you really hard um, on your head. So that's why we say hammered. And it's th definitely the most dramatic one. Okay, feel free to write down in the comments what you think about drunkenness and what you think about being drunk. And if you've had a situation like this one or maybe something similar or a bit more serious. And tell me, should we allow ourselves to get drunk? Is that okay? Do you think that that's bad for the brain? Um, a couple of days ago, I was listening to a podcast in which two guys, two experts were actually talking about how bad alcohol can be for your mind, for your head. It can actually leave some really dramatic and drastic consequences. So yeah, I'm now rethinking being drunk. Like, it's not only fun, even if you... Even if you take it, like, even if you take one glass of wine once a month, like, it's not funny. It actually does something. It makes some changes in your body. But I'm not going to judge people who drink because I also drink from time to time. But, you know, I'm thinking, I'm reconsidering my thought about how casual and cool that can be. It's actually pretty tricky with alcohol because... You don't see what, what it's doing in your organism. Well, maybe you listen to something different. Maybe you have some other sort of information. Feel free to share it down in the comments. And of course, share your drunk story with me, with us, with the community, if you have one.